Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. As we have explained in the previous video, we have a concept called Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, but that theory has failed to explain how modern day properties of the light like photoelectric effect is happening. Right. To explain that, Planck has proposed a theory called something like Planck's quantum theory. According to Planck's quantum theory, light from any source is not emitted continuously, is not emitted continuously, rather it is emitted discreetly, is emitted discreetly in the format of wave packets, in the format of wave packets, that wave packet is called something like quanta, each quanta is having a fixed energy E equal to h nu or nu can be written like c by lambda they are also called something like uh, photons so we are going back to the newton's corpuscular theory like he said like uh, corpuscle like a tiny bullet and this is also the same we are just naming differently but we are explaining the technicalities of it that's the only difference therefore according to this concept light is emitted like wave packets each wave packet has a fixed energy called something like a quanta this theory is able to explain, basing on this concept, we are able to explain all modern day effects like photoelectric effect, Compton effect, Raman effect, Stark effect, Gman effect. This is successful in explaining all modern day properties and people are quite relaxed ok it is explaining the third set of the properties of the light like we have explained earlier in the first video but even when before the relax uh, relax it has failed miserably failed in explaining basic properties of light like reflection refraction interference diffraction polarization all these theories this uh, Planck's quantum theory is unable to explain all the properties of the light so we are back at the same point that light is so vivid so great in the nature that uh, it is exhibiting a wide variety of properties and we don't have a single theory to explain all these properties of the light so there is no compromise that we are looking for different theories but every time we are unable to find the right theory which explains all properties of the light like reflection, refraction, dispersion that is able to be explained by Newton's corpuscular theory, interference, diffraction, polarization that is able to be explained by Huygens wave theory, photoelectric effect, polarization is of course able to be explained only by electromagnetic theory, modern day effects like photoelectric effect and all Compton effect are able to be explained by a Planck's quantum theory. But any of the single theory is unable to explain all these wide variety properties of light and we are unable to find a single theory. So uh, a concept is proposed called something like uh, light exhibits uh, dual nature, light exhibits uh, dual nature. As per this concept, light exhibits dual nature. The light travels like a wave light travels like a wave. When it is traveling like a wave, there are two possibilities. It is interacting with bodies. If the size of objects is much bigger than that of the wavelength of light, as the size is dominating, light appears like straight lines appears like straight lines. So it exhibits properties like reflection and uh, refraction. If that is not the case, size of the objects is close to that of the wavelength of the light that whatever we are handling, it appears like a wave. As it is going to appear like a wave, it is going to exhibit the properties like interference, diffraction and uh, polarization. 
and when it is traveling all this will happen but when it is interacting with somebody when striking when colliding light is not going to behave like a wave light travels like a wave but sometimes it appears like a straight line when the size of the objects is large if not it appears like a wave but when it is colliding with somebody it behaves like particle it behaves like a photon and when it is behaving like a photon it exhibits all modern properties like photoelectric effect it exhibits all modern properties so as we are unable to identify a single theory to explain all the light finally we are living with the concept of dual nature of the light what is the dual nature of the light tells you is light travels like a wave but of course if the size of the object is large it appears like a straight line and it behaves while it is colliding like a particle like a photon and then it exhibits all modern day properties like photoelectric effect compton and a raman effect so this is the basic background about which we are uh, where we are going to talk about ray optics in this lesson when we say ray optics we are going to assume that light is traveling like a straight line and we are depending on the newton's corpuscular theory stay tuned we will be further talking about the uh, ray properties of the ray optics and its further lessons thank you